Hi guys, I wanted to show you how to use the area model of division to divide. Uh, I have the problem 5,746 divided by four. Since this is a four digit number, I'm gonna need a four column box. And what I do is I write the dividend, the large number, in the first box. And then you write your divisor on the side. I like to think of this as a place value chart. And so this is my ones, tens, hundred thousands. So in this number, I think, how many thousands do I have? Fives in the thousands place, so I read everything in front of it. In this case, it's just a five. So how many times does four go into five? One time, but since it's the thousands place, it's not just one, it's actually 1,000. My next step is to multiply. I'm gonna multiply this 1,000 times my divisor of four. So 1,000 times four is 4,000. Then I need to subtract. and I get 1,746. I'm gonna move this on over to the hundreds place of my place value chart. Now, since I'm working in my hundreds place, I need to think how many hundreds I have. I have a seven in the hundreds place, so everything in front of it tells me how many hundreds I have. So I have 17 hundreds. Now I need to think how many times does four go into 17? Four goes into 17 four times, but since I'm in my hundreds place, it's not just four, it's 400. Then I'm gonna multiply 400 times four, which would be 1,600, and I subtract. And I get 146. I bring this over, and now I'm working in the tens place. I have a four in the tens place, and everything in front of it so I have 14 tens. How many times does four go into 14? Goes in three times, but since I'm working in the tens place, it's not just three, it's 30. Then I multiply 30 times four, which is 120, and then I subtract, and I get 26. I bring that over, now I'm in the ones place, and now I have everything in my box. So how many times does four go into 26? It can go in six times. I multiply six times four, which is 24. I subtract 26 minus 24. I have two left over. I have no more boxes left. This number is less than my divisor, so that means I'm done. This is my remainder. I'm gonna add these numbers up top and I get 1,400 36 remainder 2. If I'm going to check my answer, I'm going to take this number right here, 1,436. I'm going to ignore the remainder for just a second. And since the opposite of division is multiplication, I'm going to multiply my quotient by my divisor, which is 4. And if I do that, I'm going to use partial uh, products. I have 4 times 6. 4 times 30, 4 times 400, and 4 times 1,000. 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 30 is 120, 4 times 400 is 1,600, and 4 times 1,000 is 4,000. I add these numbers up, 4, 4, 7, 5, so I have 5,744. And then I need to add my remainder, which is two. And I get 5,746. If this is the number that I started with, this is my dividend, then it checks out. And that's it. Thanks so much.